Hi everyone, Renee here. If you're looking for a lower body glute focused workout in under 20 minutes, then you are in the right place. Little to no equipment is needed today. I'm going to be utilizing one slider. If you do not have a slider, you could easily use a paper plate or if you're on wood floors, you could use a towel to slide as well. I will link the sliders that I have down below. They're very inexpensive. They're a really great way to work your lower body, your abs, your core, just you know, have a little fun diversity in your resistance workout. I'm also utilizing one five pound weight. You do not need to have a dumbbell at all. I promise you will still feel the burn. This just takes it up to the next level. And then I am wearing two pound ankle weights as well. Again, if you do not have ankle weights, no worries. I promise you will feel this. So in under 20 minutes, we are going to get into our muscles, into our lower body and our glutes. You start to warm up and you start to move your body from side to side. Just get everything ready to move. Get your joints, you know, moving, your heart rate up a little bit, get your blood flowing. I'm going to show you the moves. We're going to start standing and then we're going to make our way to all fours. So we're going to start with our slider and I'm going to start with the slider underneath my right foot. If you would like to hold on to something, I have a chair here. So if you'd like to, you could also hold on to the wall. You just want it in front of you. And then you are going to have one slider under your right foot and your right leg will start back on the diagonal here. And you're gonna have a slight hinge forward, bend of your left knee. And then our first move is simply pulses. And you're gonna squeeze through your glute on your right and your left. And then we'll bend and extend. Our second move will be squaring everything off. This time our leg will be straight behind us. Same move, just a little different positioning here. And then we'll make our way down to all fours and the weight will go behind that same leg. So we're gonna work our right side and then our left side. And then we will be doing different moves here. So I wanna show you the moves that we're gonna be doing down on the floor. This is three direction pulses. So you pulse once out to the side, center, and then a little bit cross over. But you wanna keep your hips squared. So it's just slightly moving there. And then you're going to have circles, which means your knees will come in line, then out to the side, then slide back, okay? And we'll go in that direction, and then we'll switch directions here. And then we'll hold it at the top and slide back and forward, and then end with little pulses. No worries, you don't have to remember that. I just wanted to kind of let you know where we were going. So have your weight nearby. We're gonna be moving fairly quickly. We'll then have a minute to recoup, and we'll switch to our left side, okay? So get a sip of water. I'm gonna start our timer. And we're going to get started here in 10 seconds. So if you'd like to hold on to something you can, otherwise you can just balance yourself. I'm going to try to balance myself, but I have my chair there as needed. Bend your left knee. Here we go. Little pulses. Okay, so breathe through it. We are here for a minute. You are slightly hinged forward. So you have the weight in your front glute. You're squeezing the side of your back glute. Your leg is a little bit out to the diagonal. You are slightly turned out here. Just a slight turn out, a little open of your hip but your chest is squared. So a little rotation right here, and you're just little pulses. You're warming up. This is a nice activation move where you get your mind into the muscle that you want to work. Think of pressing your left foot strong into the floor. So if you're gonna step through the floor, I want you to find that engagement, find that grounding right there so that you start to feel your left glute. You're gonna feel both sides here. You have 15 more seconds. And then we're gonna take it into that bend and extend. You're also feeling this on your inner thighs. You're in a slight turnout position. Remember that, not a big turnout. You don't wanna hurt your knees, just a slight. Okay, now let's bend your right knee and extend. So think keeping your inner thigh open. I like to picture the instep of my right foot is going toward my left heel and then pressing all the way back out. Nice work, you're here for another minute. If you're balancing, amazing. If you need to place your hands on something, that's okay too. The focus is your lower body. So if trying to balance is really let, not letting you get deep into the muscle, then feel free to hold on to something. Still squeezing through your left leg, you have a nice soft bend here, okay? Nice work. Breathe into this, your core is engaged. You have less than 20 seconds. And then we're quickly coming to all fours. No time to waste. You will just set your slider off to the side, grab for your weight if you're using it, and then we're coming to all fours. Breathe through this. Oh no, we're not coming to all fours. Stay upright. We're just gonna rotate parallel. Okay, hold your leg back, rotate parallel, pulse it here. Almost forgot this. I was like, wait a second, that went by way too fast. Okay, 
So same thing from the beginning, but now everything is squared off and parallel. You're gonna feel this in the back of your glute, okay? Your hamstring. Once again, so much pressure in your standing leg. You are lifting and lowering because of the squeeze of that base glute here. Press your foot down into the floor nice and deep. Almost as if you're trying to slide your foot in the front, but you can't, okay? Nice, 25 seconds. Breathe. Left glute is really on fire right now. Yes. And I'm actually gonna switch up what I said when we started. I want the weight to go behind your left knee. Yes. Because as we're doing this move, that's the glute on fire and I wanna keep that on fire, okay? Okay, now bend and extend. Okay, so whatever leg you are standing on without the slider is the one that we're gonna be moving in all fours. Hope you got that. Yes. As we're standing here, I'm just thinking, you know what, I'm gonna keep burning out that glute, so that's where we're gonna go next. Beautiful. So you will have four minutes in all fours, continuing to work your base leg. Beautiful, you have 25 more seconds and then we're coming to all fours, so grab your weight and breathe. Yes, 15 more seconds. Press pressure into your sliding foot and extend nice and straight, but all of the weight is in your left. Last one, okay, grab your weight behind your left knee. You ready? Three direction pulses. So a little out to the side, center, cross over your body, center. Out to the side, center, over, center, okay? So you're here for a minute. You're barely lowering. You wanna focus more on the press up. Whew! We're in it. Yes. Your glute should be on fire. At any point, you can lose the weight. I also want you to focus on shifting your weight into the working side. So your right hand in this position, if you're working the same side as me, you should be able to lift it off of the floor. That's how little weight you should have leaning to the right. Okay, you have, let's see, 10 more seconds, and then we're just changing positions, but you're keeping the squeeze on the glute. Everything on fire, I'm shaking. Okay, now we're going into the circle. So knee comes down out to the side, slide back, rotate. So think internal, external rotation here. So you keep your inner thigh parallel until it gets to the back and then you rotate close. You keep your inner thigh open until it slides back, rotate parallel. Yes. Nice job. Keep this up and then we're gonna switch directions in just a few seconds. Last one, so now you press up Open, slide forward and close. Press up, open hip, slide forward and close. Yes. Think knee towards your shoulder. Still working to lean into the left. Beautiful, less than 15 seconds here. Nice. Breathe through this. Yes. Okay, on this one, you're gonna hold this one up and then just slide back, slide forward. Okay, come down to your right forearm here. Just helps to, you know, situate rebalance. You're gonna feel this in your outer glute, outer thigh. Inner thigh, your goal is parallel with the floor. Woo! Nice work. Yes, you should be feeling this. You're feeling tight. You're feeling controlled. You have 30 more seconds right here. You could always lose the weight as needed. Nice work. Keep going. Woo! I'm on fire with you. I am shaking. I hope you are too. Try to stay with me. You can always take a break, but come right back into it. Remember that, okay? But know that you are stronger than you give yourself credit and you can always do a few more than you think. Your mind gives up before your body does. Hold it forward, just lift and lift. You can lose the weight, remember shift into your left hand. 
Woo! Nice. Breathe through this. Abs are in tight. Maybe you close your eyes and you're staying with me right here. You have 40 more seconds. You've got this. Lift up a little stronger. I'm losing the weight here for the last 30 seconds. You can do that as well. Bring your knee forward. It's on fire. Between the two pound ankle weights and the five pounds behind my knee, everything is on fire here. Breathe through this. Nice. Ready? You have 15 seconds. Stay with me. A little tighter. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Done. Woo! Fire. One minute break. One minute to kind of shake it out and then we're switching sides. That was intense, that was tough. I'm gonna move my chair over here. I know I didn't use it on the last side, but just in case, because as you know, we get tired, we're gonna, we could struggle with our balance. I'm also gonna move my timer over here so I can see it, so I don't keep us in anything for too long. Have my slider, my weight is there. Yes, breathe in. Got our heart rates up. You don't think about this as a form of cardio, but remember, Especially when you're working lower body, these big muscle groups, it really does elevate your heart rate. Okay, so slider will go underneath your left foot this time. You have a slight turnout. So remember, your hips are slightly open, but your chest is square. If you need to, your chair is there. We have just about six more seconds. So start to get situated. I'm going to stack my palms. My elbows are wide. Bend my right knee, and here we go. Little pulses. Okay, so a fresh side. You're slightly open. You have four minutes standing, and then four minutes on all fours. Yes. So start to breathe. Your heart rate might come down a little bit. We took that nice little break, but now we're back into the muscle burn. You just have eight minutes total on this side. Eight minutes left of work. Breathe in through your nose, then out through your mouth, okay? And remember, when you breathe out through your mouth, I want you to breathe as if you're blowing through a straw. That helps to deeply connect with your core. This one always starts off like it's gonna be easy and then it gets tough and our muscles feel it. We have 15 more seconds. Yes. Find one spot to focus on if you're trying to balance. I'm for some reason wobbly on this side. Maybe because I'm tired. Yes, breathe through this. Okay, now we bend and extend. Bend in and extend. So think in stop of left foot, tapping behind the right heel. Trying to stay open, really working into your outer glute, outer thigh. Less than 45, and then we'll square everything off. Remember, pressing your right foot into the floor as if you're gonna go through the floor. Find the engagement, okay? Squeeze all the way through. Mind to muscle connection so important. You can even take your hand and feel it on your right glute. Feel how tight You have 20 more seconds. Using your inner thigh to drag your foot in and then press it out. But of course, your right glute is really what's on fire. 10 more seconds, and then you'll square everything off. Abs are engaged, slight hinge forward. So you're really working into your glute here. Okay, square everything off and just little pulses. Nice, okay. So think weight is in your right foot, right heel especially, and you have that slight hinge forward. You have a nice neutral spine. Press and lift with your right foot and right glute. As if you're gonna go through the floor. Yes, you have just over a minute and a half of standing, and then we're coming down to all fours. Not that that's any easier, but it's a change of position. 30 more seconds here of these pulses. Yes, breathe through this. I am shaking here. I don't know about you, but I hope so. Woo! Remember, every time you have that little slide up, think of dragging your right foot back. It's not actually going to drag back. That's just visually, mentally where you go to find an even deeper hamstring and glute engagement. Five more seconds. Okay, now we go bend and extend. Bend and extend. My heart rate's Starting to move up once again. 
Yes. So remember, you're pretty light on that slider, but you also have some resistance as you slide against the floor. 40 more seconds, then coming to all fours, weight will go behind your right knee. Whatever leg you have stabilizing you is where the weight will go. We're gonna continue working the glute, less than 30. Woo! Abs are engaged, glutes on fire in the best possible way. Building muscle, remember more muscle, especially in your lower body, the faster metabolism. Our biggest muscle, muscle groups all take place in our lower body. 10 more seconds, abs in, Woo! breathe through this. That's it, grab your weight behind your right knee. Here we go, three direction pulses. So remember, out to the right, center, and then a little crossover. Yes, okay, but your hips are still staying square. So you're just ever so slightly in each direction. Not so much that you open up through your hips. Nice. And just a little bit of a U shape. More of an upside down little rainbow you're making. Nice. Beautiful. You have less than 20 of this move, but then you're going to stay engaged. And we're going into the big circles. You have just over three minutes here. Three minutes of work. Remember, lean in to the working side. You should be able to lift the other hand up because you have so much pressure on the working side. Okay, knees close out to the side, slide back, parallel. Lower, open, slide, rotate, parallel. <sighs> yes. You're going in this direction for 30 seconds, really working on your hip mobility as well as your strength. Internal, external rotation, all taking place right here. A few more seconds, then we'll switch directions. Last one. Now you're gonna press up, open, slide forward, close. Press up, open knee, slide forward, close. Yes, nice work. After this, two more moves, two more minutes. Everything is screaming at me, my entire lower body, but especially my glute. I love these moves because it really isolates the glute muscle and you can't help but get into it. Okay, hold this one open. Slide forward and back. Slide forward and back. So come down to your left forearm this time. I just feel like it helps to stabilize you when I come down to the opposite forearm. Okay, so try to keep knee, ankle, and hip all in the same plane. I know it's not easy, and maybe your leg has to lower a little bit. That's totally okay. Yes, okay. A minute and 30 left. That's all you have left of this lower body glute focused workout. Less than 20 minutes here. But boy, did we burn it out. Woo! You've got this. You have 15 more seconds, and then you have your final move of those small pulses with your knee by your shoulder, right glutes on fire, right outer thigh here. Hold it forward, just a little lift and lift, yes. I'm gonna lose the weight here in just a moment, but I'm gonna try to stay with this as long as possible. Nice. Breathe through it, abs engaged. Try to pull your knee forward a little bit. Inner thigh toward the floor. You have 40 more seconds. Glute is screaming. Yes, it is. I'm removing the weight real quick. Right back into it. That's a little drop set there. As we burn it out, as we finish. Final 25 seconds. And this entire workout is done. Try to bring your knee forward a little closer. Lean to the working side, lean to the right. 15 seconds. You've got this. Don't give up on you. Remember, mind gives up far before your body does. You're strong enough. You can stay with me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Done. Wow. That was intense. I'm removing these ankle weights. 
can't keep in mind anymore. I'll link all of the equipment I use down below as well. Okay, let's come to butterfly real quick just to kind of open up. Breathe in, little hinge forward. Boots on fire, heart rate got up there. And now let's place our hands behind us and just rotate your knees from side to side. Just bringing from some space back into the muscles, into the bones of our lower body. Okay, you will want a longer stretch, a longer cool down, but that's all that I have for you today. I love this quick, this intense glute. We're sure, certainly going to feel that tomorrow. Remember, you want some cardio, resistance training, build that muscle, especially as you get older, we start to lose muscle and muscles what keeps our metabolism flowing, going, and strong. So have a great day today. Like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this workout, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.